It all makes sense now. The signs were there, staring me in the face. The only person who could possibly be dating Superman is... <sighs> Look, Cat, I... Silver St. Cloud! What? It can't be Hank because Hank seems to hate Superman. It can't be Berna or Chandi because they clearly have never met him before. But Silver defended Superman. She's the only one he talked to, and there's a vibe between them. I don't think they have a vibe. There's such a vibe. She's a genius who made her fortune at 13. She's smart, talented, and raises millions for charity every year. I mean, who else should Superman be with? Well, what about me? I'm the one who broke the Superman story. I'm the one who got the interview with him. Logically, it makes sense for it to be me. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Oh, you're serious. Elaine. Lois, he's Superman, and these people are superhuman. The least impressive one climbed Mount Everest seven times. Yeah, but... Listen, we're reporters. Outside observers looking in on worlds that we aren't a part of. We write the story. We don't become the story. And what you and Kent have is cute. Focus on that. <laughs> <laughs> This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Out of these luminaries, only one has captured the city's heart. And the people's choice for most eligible is... Lois, are you hurt? What's wrong? Everything. Everything is wrong. The contest, my dad running off, the job offer, it's all too much. Job offer? What job offer? Vicky asked me to move to Gotham and become her number two. What? What? Why didn't you tell me? Because we never talk anymore. I've been trying. I, I wanted you to be there when I set off the beacon. You what? This isn't coming out right. Because this isn't working. We don't make sense, Clark. There's a whole room of people way better for you than I could ever be. I mean, I'm not a genius or a billionaire or a super person. I'm just me. And it's not enough. Everyone always leaves me in the end. So why are we even doing this? Lois, are, are you breaking up with me? 